We all know that Kerberos is a widely used authentication protocol designed to allow secure access to services over the network. Kerberos relies on ticket to authenticate user and services with the goal of minimizing the need to repeatedly transmit sensitive credentials like passwords. I have already made a video explaining pretty much everything you need to know about Kerberos in the context of Active Directory and how it works. But let me give you a quick overview. First of all, we have the initial authentication. The client sends an authentication request to the KDC, an ES rec. Then the KDC verifies the user credentials and if valid, it responds with an ES rep, which includes the TGT encrypted with the KDC secret key, the key RB TGT password hash. Then, if we want to access a service like SMB, MSSQL, the client uses the TGT to request a service ticket, a TGS rec, from the KDC for the specified service. The KDC responds with the service ticket, TGS rep, which the client uses to authenticate to the requested service. While Kerberos is secure, its traditional method of authentication relies on password-based encryption to generate cryptographic keys. This introduces several weaknesses like password vulnerabilities, so passwords can be gassed, stolen, or brute forced, especially weak or reused passwords. The security of the initial exchange heavily depends on the strength of the user's password. That's why PKNet is being introduced. Public Key Cryptography for Initial Authentication it's an extension to the Kerberos protocol. So PKINET enables Kerberos to use public key infrastructure, PKA, and certificates for the initial authentication exchange instead of relying on passwords. So PKINET implements certificates which replace passwords in the initial authentication, which can significantly reduce the risk of password-based attack. Also, PKINET integrates with Certificate Authority to issue and validate certificates. Organization using Active Directory Certificate Services, ADCS, can manage the life cycle of certificates, ensuring that only trusted users and system can authenticate to the KDC. As we said before, the PKA proves the identity of the client and the server. The use of CA-issued certificates ensures that the KDC trusts the client and vice versa, reducing the chance for unknown devices or users accessing the network.